Hey guys, how's it going? An early morning start for scientists and divers from the Florida Keys National Marine Park. They're taking us out to some of the most beautiful and famous reefs in North America, which have been devastated by one of the area's coldest winters on record. From last December to February, above ground, on average it was about five degrees colder and much wetter than previous winters. Florida's famous fruit farms were badly affected. And there's damage underwater too. Coral simply can't survive in water that's too hot or too cold. And the last winter was lethal, with temperatures dropping six degrees lower than average. Weather was so cold that the water was dropped down really quick. It had real strong north winds blowing over it. That cold water came out between the islands and into the back part of the reef area. And that's where we saw the impacts. Over a two week period, starting on the 25th of January, scientists surveyed 78 sites along a 480 kilometer reef tract to assess coral health. Bill Goodwin has been monitoring the reefs at regular intervals. This is what a healthy reef looks like. Bill filmed these pictures last November at a reef called White Bank. It's full of vibrant color and marine life. These pictures were taken just a couple of months later at the same site at the end of winter. It's very heartbreaking when you enter the water and you see all this uh, white bleached dead coral. Um, and uh, you know, when we first encountered it, I, I was sort of taken aback because I wasn't really expecting as much uh, death as we saw. Luckily, not everywhere was affected. Some coral areas were protected by the Florida current, a warm water mass which blocks extreme temperature variation. Most of the damage was done along the nearshore reefs within three kilometres of the shore. That's the blue areas where the temperature fell to 12 degrees. We're here at White Bank, which suffered significant reef damage during the winter months. The divers here from the Marine Park Sanctuary are going to go underwater now and check out the health of the coral. Today, the starkness of the bleached reef is muted by a coat of algae on the dead coral. Reef experts worldwide are worried that extreme water temperatures, hot and cold, are becoming more common because of climate change. Very slight differences in ocean chemistry can affect the reef organisms in a very large way. And right now, as part of the climate change picture, ocean acidification and sea surface temperature rise uh, is, is definitely on our, on our watch. Florida Keys are one of the most popular tourist and diving destinations in the world. Marine scientists are in a seemingly endless battle with Mother Nature to maintain that reputation and keep the reef alive and healthy. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, Florida Keys.